Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Davida. I am so excited because I finally, finally get to post a video. I've been super busy. I actually wanna give you guys a plant tour uh, before we do a lot of big, big box uh, shopping and uh, things like that because we'll be doing a lot of that here on this channel. So if you love plant shopping at big box shops and local nurseries and things like that. Um, we'll be doing a lot of that here. Uh, but before we do all of that, I wanna introduce you guys to a lot of my plants that I have. I have about, I wanna say maybe close to 50 plants, if not 50 plants. And there's so many more plants that I want. So, you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at PlantsLoveD. And come on, let's go. Okay, right behind me was my massive peace lily that I got from a local grocery store. And it was about 17 bucks. Peace lilies are one of my absolute faves. Also right behind me is my Alocasia Dawn that I got for my birthday. It has a bunch of fungus gnats and like some browning on the leaves. I actually cut a few off. Um, really not showing too much of new growth, but We'll see. It's so pretty. I just really, really hope that I don't kill it. <laughs> Here is my black velvet, I believe it is, Alocasia. I got this on sale at Lowe's for seven bucks, guys. This right here is like a new leaf that came in. So pretty. This here is my Begonia Rex. What is that there? I love this one. Got it from Lowe's. I have it like in one of these self-watering pots. So it's my rubber tree here. It's one of my favorite plants. Also in one of those self-watering pots that you get from Lowe's. And this is my Janet Craig here. I have, I don't know what's going on with this, my Syngonium, but the tips are just always turning brown. So if you guys have any suggestions on that. This here is one of my Valentine's Day plants that my hubby got me. So pretty. Oh, it's growing. Get that there. So pretty. It has a um, dumb cane, Diffenbachias. I'm not really a fan of Diffenbachias. I just can't really seem to get them to grow. But <sighs> yeah, it's not looking too bad. Here is another peace lily of mine. This was actually one of my very first plants. I've had this for like two, three, three years now. But like I said, peace lilies are my absolute favorite. This here is a Florida beauty that I got for like two bucks. And it just keeps on growing. This here is a mixture that I got from Lowe's. Um, it has a Calathea medallion inside, um, a Dracaena, and Golden Pothos that just keeps on growing. And I actually keep cutting it. I actually make these. And actually that's a Neon Pothos that I also have in there too that I mixed up. I will show you guys that in a sec. So there it is there. Look how long it just just keeps growing. Oh, 
look at that leaf there. So pretty. Okay, so here is my Monstera. That I got from Home Depot and had to repot because it wasn't growing. And I probably need to put another moss pole in there, but now it is growing massive. Look at that. Here is my neon pathos. That is just trailing. Marble Queen. Look at that leaf. So pretty. Look at that one there. I love this plant. Ooh, look at that one. So pretty. Here is my Addisonia. That was a hanging plant that I did not hang. <laughs> and there is another Dracaena of mine. Here is a piece of my Addisonia that I took from there. That actually broke off and I put in this self-watering pot. So I'll see how that goes. Probably need to give it some. Yeah, probably need to give it some more water. And then this is a bird nest room, I think. And it's. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it's like driving me nuts. <laughs> Probably need to get some more water too, but it's really not one of my favorites, but I am still trying to give it some hope. <laughs> this is one of my Lemon lime dracaenas that I actually have to repot because look at these roots, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> this needs a bigger pot. And this is another mixture that I made of the golden pathos and the marble queen. Oh, look at that. Okay, so these are my outside plants. I have two little snake plants by the door. Look at those hostas, guys. Look at that. Those things are huge. And I have my umbrella tree. It was not growing at all inside the house. I've had it for almost a year. And I set it outside. And now look at that. Super excited. Okay, next is my beautiful bird of paradise that I bought from Sam's in this beautiful little pot there for about $34. And it is growing. So I had to get out of that sun. But I wanted to show you, I planted some elephant ears, some alocasias, the little bulbs that I got from Lowe's for about $7. And they were not growing at all. At all. And now look at them. One of my aunts put sweet potatoes <laughs> on top of the dirt in this. Is what you see this one right here is the black magic so look at that and this one is just the California I'm super excited to see how they continue to grow and I'll keep you guys updated on those okay, so I took down 
one of my jade plants from the top window I have up there. It gets a lot of sun. And I also wanted to show you my string of bananas that was given to me by a friend. And I want to say there was only like two little strands, I believe. And I just stuck them in dirt. And look at this, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> it's just growing. This is a plant that started off with just this leaf right here that I got from one of my friend's house. And it produced this leaf, this leaf, this leaf, that leaf. So it's growing. This is a, I think like another philodendron tree or something like that. So I'm so happy about this one. This here is my Brazil that I got from Lowe's, another hanging plant <laughs> that I didn't hang. So, and this is my Fentonia. And that's like in another one of those self-watering pots. I actually need to put some some more water in there. But they called it like call it a Juanita. I believe. Okay, so here is my fiddle with two brand new leaves. Oh, I'm so excited. Probably should give it some water. Here's another piece of leaf of mine that stays absolutely thirsty. This here is a uh, I think like a philodendron tree or something like that. But this thing started off small, really small. I got it from Lowe's for about five bucks and it is blooming. All right guys, I had to take my Calatheas down. This one is a Calathea Dotty and it used to be so pretty. <laughs> but I think this one right here is a new leaf that came in, but I just kept chopping it because it was just horrible. Um, they're in the self-watering pots here that you get from Lowe's. I don't think that I will be purchasing any more Calatheas <laughs> at all, but... Um, I've had the Pink Star, I've had, um, quite a few Calatheas that just did not make it. I had the Pinstripe, Pinstripe Calathea that didn't make it. So the Dottie here, and this one is the Rattlesnake. <clears throat> they seem to be the only ones that I can pretty much keep alive other than the one that's there the mixture that seems to really really like like it over there here is a snake plant that i propagated um i took from one of my friend's plants and it wasn't growing i'm like what is going on but then i noticed look at that super happy it's growing i love seeing if i can like propagate i've only been able to propagate like snake plants and pothos that's pretty much it so because they're pretty much easy all right guys so i'm in my bedroom and here's another piece lily of mine like i said peace lilies are one of my absolute faves that is my aglomenia silver bay that i have here a little peperomia that i got from lowe's there's another snake plant of mine it started off really small and now it's growing look at that one 
All right, guys, I'm in my bathroom now. I have like some little succulents that I have at the top there. Um, and I have my CZ here that I got from Lowe's. Just keeps on growing. I have a, another snake plant here. I kind of wanted to give it like a little tropical feeling, you know, when I'm taking a bath. I would really love to put some hanging plants up there, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys, that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed my plant tour. Come back um, to go shopping with me because I have so many more plants that I would like to purchase. Um, there's so many I want to uh, add to my collection. So I'll be checking out Lowe's and Home Depot and some local nurse nurseries on the regular. So come on back. And if you suggest anything as far as what you saw on my plants, just let me know in the comments because I am not a plant expert at all. Okay? I just love them. They make me happy. Okay? We can help each other out here. All right, guys. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.